Welcome back to the place where we party and we eat a lot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Your girl is back. Welcome to Coffee Locks Loaded Eats. Well, we got the flavor bus going over here. Every time we load up and leave the station, we want you on here. So take time out. I'm letting you take time out to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm here with a quick lunch, quick car bang. Um, I saw Caitlin's Kitchen, I believe it is, had a buffalo chicken dip recipe on her channel, or mukbang on her channel where she announced her pregnancy. Congratulations. And I was like, I want some buffalo dip. Now we know I'm a vegetarian here, so I don't eat chicken. So I'm like, okay, this is not fair, but I want some buffalo dip. So I said to self, self, you can have buffalo dip. So I went and surfed YouTube, found all great recipes, took a little of this, took a little of that, and I decided to come up with, hold your horses, <laughs> buffalo bean and artichoke dip. <laughs> you heard her, you heard her, but she'll say it again though. Buffalo bean and artichoke dip okay because i was saying to myself the the chicken is the accent the dip is the buffalo okay so that's what we have in the day i love a dip i absolutely love a good dip i'm a party girl like i'm the girl who loves food that comes on little trays that you put the cheese the tomato the vegetables you scoop they i that's me that's me. I love dip. So our dip of the week, I'm going to say it again, is buffalo bean and artichoke dip. And it's so good. This is my second take at this video. So I've, I've already had some. And on my way over here to park to do the video, because I'm at work today, I spilled a little bit of it. So I had to taste my finger. Then I scooped it on my first attempt at this video. I'm going to have to fire production after I hire production. <laughs> so it is so good. I am going to be having it with Tostito strips and they're the thick cut. Um, I seen Gina Young when she did her recipe, she used the scoops, the Frito scoops and I thought, dog, that'd be good. I'm gonna get me some of them. But those are thick, they're a thicker cut and so they hold up really good under this heavy dip. We'll be drinking AHA sparkling water. This is the citrus tea. Look here, if y'all ain't on this AHA, I don't know what you're waiting for. Pause this video, run out to your local Walmart, and get you some AHA, okay? I'm not playing with you. That That is good stuff. <laughs> and they got all kinds of flavors paired together, really, really good. So we get into prayer, and I'm gonna give you guys a bite. Father God, thank you for this day and for your wonderful blessings for life, for health and strength, Father God. Thank you for keeping me in the midst of this storm, Lord God. I ask that you bless this food that I'm about to receive, that it may go to the nourishment of my body and that my body is healthy and fit for thy service. In Jesus' powerful name I pray, amen. Cut this air down a little bit. I hope y'all can hear me, but it's hot. I live in the South. And honey, if I turn it on for too long, Oh my God. <laughs> you gonna say, oh, is the food that hot or is it, what's going on? And no, it'll be the heat. So let me get a bite here. Oh, let me show it to you guys first. I've done this on the first take. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that buffalo cheese. Let me tell you something. I could lose some weight if it wasn't for cheese, honey. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I got in here. Give you guys a bite. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Mmm. 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 Yeah. That's good. That's good, good. <laughs> I 
And it's got everything that if you Google the Buffalo Ranch chicken dip and you, you say, well, that's what it's got in it. It's got all that. I just added some to it. Well, I took something out and added something to it. Took out the chicken. But the beans, so I still have a protein in there. I add the artichoke, because I knew the artichoke would pair well because I make spinach and artichoke dip all the time. And it goes good with cream cheese and things. So I said, mm hmm. Kind of give me that feel that I'm putting something shredded in. <laughs> now I did beef up my cheese content. Um, most of the recipes I saw didn't have quite as much cheese as I added, but like I said, I love me some cheese. See that? This cream cheese, I use the Walmart version. Of course, you could definitely use like Philadelphia. I use the Frank's hot sauce, wing buffalo sauce. I used Ken's ranch dressing, and that's my favorite ranch. Um, but of course, you can go with Hidden Valley or Walmart. The Great Value brand will work just as fine, but I use the Ken's uh, ranch dressing. I, um, the beans that I used were black beans, pinto beans, and red kidney beans, and kind of use that as like a trilogy pretty much whenever I'm making something like Mexican or something, and I'm using them as a sort of a substitute or a replacement. <clears throat> and basically what I did was I toasted my beans, or sauteed, however you want to say, with a little bit of fine onion. Cut the onion up. And I use, if you're from the South or from the Texas area, you're probably familiar with Brookshire Store. And they have the best seasonings. They have a nine pepper and three salt. And I'll place a picture in this video, as well as a taco seasoning. And they're like $2.98 for a really big container. I love it. I love it. It's like, oh, it changed up my whole seasoning world. And so I to toast, tossed, toasted, sauteed my beans in that. I didn't want to overcook my beans because I wanted them to keep their consistency because they were going to have to be, you know, baked as well. But I did want to give them some sort of standalone flavor course because I just used regular canned beans um so I didn't want to have them where they were all mushy have um more like refried beans which probably would be good as well oh um while still I wanted my I wanted to taste my bean have my bean have a bite so I also saw another YouTuber, use some green onion. I love a green onion. Oh my God. <laughs> cut up a green onion and change your whole life. So I cut up some green onion and then I got a can of artichoke hearts. Dice those up. On this bite, you probably can see that bean. I don't know if you can see it or not. But they held their shape, held their thing. Um, I 
put it all in a big bowl. My cream cheese that was softened at room temperature. The heat from the beans that I toasted helped to go ahead and soften that cream cheese a little more. Of course, I used the Frank's hot sauce, the Ken's Ranch dressing, a little bit of Mrs. Dash Southwest. Oh, oh my God. If y'all ain't using that too, that seasoning, oh, so good. Put a little bit in that. Of course, the Frank's hot sauce had all the kick I needed, but I just needed a little bit of salt content, something, well, it is salt free, but something with a little bit of a, a different spice texture to it. So I added that, and then I went in with my cheese. Oh, um, queso, shredded cheese, and these were all Walmart brand, mozzarella, and sharp cheddar. I put the queso and the mozzarella inside of my mix with a little bit of the sharp cheddar, but I saved most of my sharp cheddar for my topping. And baked it all for about, I guess maybe 20, 25 minutes. This is not a really huge container. And that was it. It's good to go. I got my own buffalo dip. You ain't gonna outdo your girl cause she don't eat chicken. Okay. And it's good with those chips, those toasty Tostitos. I heard a lot of people say they add more buffalo sauce or less if you like it hot. I like things pretty spicy. Um, not to the point that I'm about to cry, <laughs> but I do like, I like flavor. And so I don't want anything too bland. So I added maybe a cup and a half of Frank's. I had a little bit left in a bottle that I used um, in my vegan, with my, to dip my vegan chicken in. And I also used it in my spinach dip as well. So I had about, mm, Maybe what's the equivalent of a half a cup left in that bottle. Then I opened up the new bottle that I bought and probably used about a cup out of there. But of course, you could definitely make it spicier or less spicy if you want. Um, I heard Jenna Young say that you could probably, if you had maybe some kids or something that didn't like the heat that much, that you could cut it with honey. And that probably will work just fine. Cause I want, I want the heat and the spice. So and I'm really not somebody that's big on things that I find should be savory. I don't like them sweet. I had some um, bar to coworkers hot sauce um, at work to put on my, on my favorite guilty indulgence is plain um, ruffles with hot sauce. Okay. A quick snack on the go. So I found the Louisiana hot sauce and I was like, hey. Because I didn't know we had no hot sauce at work. <laughs> so I put my chips in there, sprinkled the hot sauce on, and I kept eating and I kept having this hint of sweet. I was like, is my chips sweet? What is going on we we'll come to find out it was sweet honey louisiana and it's pretty good louisiana is great but i just wasn't expecting that sweet with my heat i like my heat with heat so for me mm, that's probably a no my husband probably would love it though and my cousins they love everything sweet like vegetables <laughs> Mm -hmm. and I'm the opposite I want my vegetables don't judge me a little salty and a little hot this is so good Next party I go to, 
next get together with the family. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> the girl is ready. I'm gonna try to list the ingredients down below. Um, I, along with again the picture, I should have kind of took some pictures of what I did along the way, but I'm new to this, y'all. Don't judge me. I'm gonna get it together. Okay. The party bus is gonna be fully equipped. We just gotta get there. <laughs> but uh, I didn't think to, but I definitely list the ingredients I used. Like I said, if you make buffalo chicken, then you know what it is. It's basically the same thing. I hope my husband likes it. He sometimes doesn't really care for dips. Or <laughs> he likes to put it on for a part. <laughs> he puts a dip on a hot dog or a hamburger. <laughs> he don't want on for chips. You baby like it because it does have it's not a lot of heat but it does have a tang to it which I like it's good to me but if you're somebody that don't like heat at all I would probably put very little saw some people add like hot sauce to theirs Louisiana <laughs> it's like oh on top of the Franks okay <laughs> you won't heat but that Franks is giving me enough spice so I'm good I'm definitely gonna get some scoops, some Frito scoops, because I know that's gonna set it off. Okay, it's gonna set it off. <laughs> but these Tostitos are doing this thing. Hmm. Right amount of salt added, which is another reason why you don't have to add a lot of salt because you're gonna get some salt from the chips. green onions give it a nice bite it's so good I've been chowing I haven't got nothing to drink it's so good and that green tea is one of my favorite flavors I got a trunk full of the watermelon and lime back there. Uh, I think it's apple and peach or apple honey. No, apple and ginger is good. If y'all ain't on my heart, like I said, I don't know what you're waiting on. I really don't know what you're waiting on. I'm going to get up off of here because I've held y'all long enough with my dip. I'm just so, this couldn't have turned out better if I had tried. So, <clears throat> I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to ask you again to like, comment, and subscribe to the party bus. I'm going full steam ahead. 
I'm trying to crank out as many videos as I can because I love food. Okay. <laughs> I love food. Woo! I love it. Okay. And something like this. <laughs> I just gotta bring it to the people, okay? So I want you guys to stay tuned for content. I want you to be good to yourselves and to one another. I want you to find some way, some kind of way to enjoy the little things today. Some way. God has been so good. Excuse me. So merciful and so kind. We dare not take advantage. We should praise him for his wondrous works. If you're going through something today, I hope that you find peace in knowing that he is bigger than any situation. Okay? <laughs> he bigger. So whatever going on, he bigger. Oh, that's what's going on? He bigger. Oh, you said it was that. He bigger. He bigger, yeah. Girl, is that? What? He bigger. <laughs> so enjoy yourself. Be good to yourself. And I'll see you real soon.